So now we're going to show you how to make your GFRC premix into an SCC. First things first, you want to mix it up. And if you're turning the GFRC premix, you add a half percent of plasticizer. You're going to be about six pounds of water per bag. I'm going to put most of that water in right off the bat. I'll hold back a little bit. And you'll hear the drill or the, the mixer kind of struggling a little bit. We want to have a little bit. We don't want to be overworking the drill, but we want to we want to get some good shear going. So that's why I hold a little bit of the water out. The water. Now, whenever you're mixing in warmer temps, you're going to want to put some ice in there. We put about 25% ice. I'm going to let this mix in for about five minutes, give a chance for all that ice to melt, and we'll be ready to go. All right, once we've allowed our mix to sit and let that ice melt, let the sand suck up a little bit of water. Now, the sand we use is only about a quarter percent absorption, so there's very little absorption, very little fall set that takes place. Um, a lot of guys even skip the fall set, so it's kind of up to you. Um, if I'm using ice, I'm always going to let it fall set, just let that melt. Um, now what we're putting in is 3% uh, of your solid, of your dry weight in uh, AR glass fibers. You can use 3 quarter inch, half inch. It's all personal preference. I've used them all. They don't, doesn't really make a huge difference, to be honest. Um, the big thing is, and the reason uh, we get asked a lot why we don't put the fibers in the bag. And now the reason for that is <clears throat> if we mix these fibers up from the beginning, you can see they're in bundles. And if we break these bundles into little filaments, we lose all of our flexural strength. So it's very important that you put these in at the end of your mix. Um, these particular fibers, you really got to beat them up a lot. But really, the, the idea is we just want to get them mixed in. So anyway, here we go. I'll just dump them all in and I'll just gently mix those in. Now you're ready to pour. All right, so to pour with your SEC, this being about the easiest uh, technique to do in the GFRC world. And this could be ECC just the same. I would just have to switch my fibers. So now what you generally want to do is pour in a corner and try to keep your wet edge going. So I don't want to go beyond where I've already started. So basically I'm pouring wet on wet. And you can see that level off real nice. See the trapped air bubbles popping out of there? Want to see that? Just not in excess. We don't want foam. 